on today's video if you are new here kindly consider subscribing down below and also don't forget to like share and also comment down below if you are also a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to watch my channel so in today's video i'm going to talk about the salon business and uh, most of the people that have the cosmetic business always have this salon business uh, as a side hustle uh, with the cosmetic business. So what are the requirements of you having a salon business? And I also want to mention that you don't have to be good in salon for you to set up a salon. Um, the only thing you're supposed to do is to make sure that you just, just put a post on Facebook, I'm looking for a salonist, and I'm telling you for free that your inbox will be full with a lot of girls who are looking uh, forward to getting a salon uh, somewhere where they can go and practice their hairdressing skills. So, Osekai uh, Hapo Kisama that you don't know how to make hair, you don't know nothing about the salon business, I'm here to challenge you that you can set up a salon business with zero skills. I know go come town na ambiwa. Usifungue salon, utaibiwa na wasichana, utafanya bla 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 bla. Stop. Stop listening to naysayers because um after telling you not to set up a salon business, what are they giving you as an alternative? Nothing. Ni kuongea tu na wanakuacha hapo kinangana. Most of them are even jealous that you have that idea because they know that the cosmetic and salon business is one booming lucrative business. I'm here to challenge you by telling you that starting these businesses um, is a matter of risking. Business is not any risk. You are risking even uh, selling perfume. That is a risk. I mean, una risk pesa zako zote like 20,000. Ku set up a business that you don't know how it end up. Sasa unafatu kukua na faith. Now, for you to start a salon business in Kenya, what are the basic, basic requirements? So the first thing that you're supposed to have in that cassette up your salon, unafaku kwa na bitimbili za plastic. Any color. Most of the time, try cheza na purple na pink. And then, iso ni mbili adult chairs. And then, kale kadogo kawatoi. Only one. That will cost you what? Around 1,500 shillings. The second thing that you're supposed to have when you start a salon business is a mirror. And the simplest mirror that is rectangular in shape, that is not very big, it costs around 800 shillings. So with 800 shillings, you have that rectangular mirror. But if you have, if you have at least enough cash, like 2,000 shillings, you'll get the, the square mirror, where you have customer A and a kitty kwa point A in a station, upon a mirror yake hapo, no yu mingina kona yake hapa. So that one is a bit costly, but not very expensive. And then the third thing that you require for you to have that salon is assorted combs. And by assorted, I mean that uh, you go and get different kinds of combs. Kuna zile zinitangwa um, afro combs, kuna jelly combs, kuna weave combs, kuna zile zinachangua wigs and weaves. And also make sure that you also have blow dry combs. And blow dry combs come in two categories. Kuna zambao na kukona zile za plastic za black. I encourage you to go for the plastic ones which are a bit long lasting and they also don't uh, make customer a skill chungwa kifanywa nini? Blow dry. Now talking about blow dry, that is number four what you require. So a blow dry will range from 2,500 to 4,000 shillings. So what um, I used to have in my salon was Seriot Jet. And this Seriot Jet comes in two versions. So kuna Seriot uh, Jet that is fake, na ingine ni origin. The difference is, ukiekewa Seriot Jet box ya, ile fake na box ya ile original, zote ni white, but ile fake box ya kinaka more bright, na kaya ni ile white iko maziwa kabisa, but hiye nye ni original, uh, the box is not very white, na kakama white ime mweka. If you know, you know. So something else that you require for you to have a salon is a sink, which is very mandatory because you have to wash the client's hair. And um, sink will range from 800 shillings to 2,500 shillings, depending. Na kama yo sink yiko na pipe, 
na pia kama hiyo sinki kwa na stand so ile nyenye haina stand wewe mwenyewe utaenda tena nao mtaani wewe utafute fundi apeke stand so wewe unajua mali unajikuna wewe unajua mali unajifikia so kama hauna pesa ya kununua 2500 ni kwa mpaka hiyo pipe ya kutoa maji chafu na ile stand yake ana cheze ni ile aso nane tafuta mtu kutengeneza stand ambao hapo kwa mtaa something else that i used to have in my salon but i kwenda nisaidia sana is a dryer dryer ni kitu yenye inaweza kukulalishia pesa hapo and um, i don't want to discourage you from buying a dryer but the the clients that come looking for dryer services are very very few as opposed to those ones that will come requiring blow dry services so those are the basic basic things that you require in a salon we have talked about the plastic chairs mirror assorted combs sink blow dryer and i've said that a dryer is not compulsory other accessories in a salon business include but are not limited to um what we call a uv gel machine and then we also have something that we call the gels obviously you know the using uh you will require the gels and let me caution you because this happened to me i bought the uv gel machine yes it was working perfectly but nikarudi nikanunua zile gels zinaitwa gelish now let me tell you for free that if i come to your salon i ask it i will not take any other gel apart from blue sky blue sky ni ile gel yenye napatanga customer hata kama hauji kupaka customer vizuri na umempaka blue sky na bora mekauka vizuri hiyo gel haitatoka blue sky is very very good it is long lasting as opposed to this other gel sizi ukitaka kufanya biashara ya kinaroniki na kinajelish always encourage customers wako kwa mkono wa pake blue sky kwa mguu unacheza na kinajelish na kinaroniki because mguu sana sana hauguzishi maji uoshi nayo vyombo unaelewa ndio ninasema so hizo ni kwa kwa mguu but kwa mkono zitakufrustrate utapaka customer leo kesho ameza zangu i mean something else that is an, is an accessory in a beauty shop stroke salon is an ear piercing gun and this ear piercing gun ile ya blue ina kwanga 450 um to around 800 so mimi nilikuwa na 500 and it was really working perfectly and when i shule ndio ndio ku pierce mtu masikio start with a newspaper chukua a newspaper and that will pierce we pierce we pierce we pierce and also go to youtube and look at youtube tutorials usikuona sema tu atisijui kufanya sijui kufanya sijui kufanya hakuna mtu alizaliwa kijua kufanya kitu we all learn sisi wote tulijikuta duniani and we are learning something else that you are supposed to learn 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 is doing makeup so um makeup is not difficult kalan anakuja na kuambia by the way nataka kuwekwa hii eyelash the first time i did that i never even knew eyelash in the kwa glue unaweza glue kwa macho ama unaweza glue kwa hiyo eyelash i just tried and ikakuwa ikakuwa by the way and that is how nilitoka hapo na punch kwa sababu nilimweka hiyo eyelash alafu nikarudi nikamfanya nini nikamfanya makeup so you can do everything under this planet earth as long as you put your heart there and you also challenge yourself to be very aggressive so basically if you want to start a salon business in Kenya you are not going to use a lot of money so i hope that uh, i have answered most of the questions that most people are asking and if that you like this video make sure that you sh- you, you share make sure that you subscribe make sure that you also comment down below because that is all uh, that is a way in which you're going to uh, make youtube recommend my videos so without wasting a lot of time let me end this video from this point i hope that you have learned something 1 2 3 and i'll see you on my next video bye